How's it going everyone? And in this video, we are going to be walking through how to install the official Orange Pi Zero Ubuntu image off of the Orange Pi website. And we'll get started. And the reason why this is so cool is that right now the Orange Pi Zero is only $15 on eBay, which makes it a lot cheaper than the comparable Raspberry Pi Zeros that are going for 50, 60 bucks sometimes. So if you're looking to get into this stuff, this is a great way to get started and we'll jump into it. So got my Orange Pi Zero right here. I also have a eight gig micro SD card already attached to my computer. And if you go on the Orange Pi website and click on download, it'll take you to this page. You're gonna select the Ubuntu image and we're gonna go with the LTS one because that's what we have. And I'm gonna be going with the Bionic version. You can also go with Xenial. Bionic is based off of Debian 9, whereas Xenial is based off of Debian 8. So I recommend going with the latest. Um, so I've already downloaded this file earlier. And what you'll find when you do this is it's going to initially download this .tar.gz file. So I'm gonna just delete these for the sake, uh, for time being. So basically this is what you'll initially download on your Windows machine and you need to extract it twice. And so I'm going to right click this, we'll then click on uh, 7-zip and then go to extract here. All right, and so once it does that, you'll now have a tar file instead of a gz file so you again need to extract that so i'm going to refresh this real quick again right click this folder and then click on 7zip again and then extract here do this one more time so now you have an actual disk image file so we have to do two extractions to get that file so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up win32 disk imager this is an open source program you can uh, get on windows machines and you can see that it's found the F drive right here, which is the micro SD card that I've formatted following the FAT32 format on Windows. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to now choose my image file, and it's going to find that IMG file that we just created in our downloads. So I'm going to click on Open, and then I'm going to click on Write. And this will take some time because depending on your micro SD card, uh, the transfer rates might be slow. So just give it a moment, and then we'll get back to it. All right, and once it finishes, you will get this write successful command. So I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna remember that this is the F drive on our machine that we just put this image on. I'm gonna click on Exit, and then I'm going to right click in Windows Explorer, the F drive, and click on Eject. And so now I'm going to remove that micro SD card and we'll insert it into this guy. All right, so here's a micro SD card, and this Orange Pi Zero has its micro SD card slot right there. So I'm just gonna pop that guy in. just like that. Now I'm gonna take a micro USB cable and this, uh, when I plug this guy in, it's going to uh, light this thing up like a Christmas tree. Cool. So we've got our power now on this thing. And then I'm going to take an ethernet cable and plug this into our ethernet jack. And this ethernet cable is connected directly to my home router. It's a TP-Link router. And so while this thing's booting up, um, you should start to see some of the green and orange lights on your ethernet port light up too, and that'll tell you that it's sending and receiving traffic. Um, and that's because uh, we're gonna be using our ethernet jack to communicate to this thing over our network. So um, this whole process can take some time. If these lights aren't coming on, I would strongly suggest double checking that your image was successfully copied to that micro SD card. Um, I was having some issues earlier where it wasn't, so these lights weren't coming on. But you know, if you've got constant steady lights like this, it's looking good. Um, in my case, I'm using a TP-Link router on my home network, so I'm going to open up uh, Chrome. And then in my case, if I go to TP-Link Wi-Fi.net, um, it takes me to this page where I'll sign in with some admin creds. I'm just gonna refresh this. If you have like a Netgear or some other device, Cisco, it would be a different login page. Um, or you could just go right directly to the IP um, if you know that, but we're here. I'm gonna click on admin, uh, I'm gonna type in my password. And uh, right now you can see that uh, it's detecting two wired clients. And so right there is our Orange Pi Zero LTS uh, device on our home network, which is awesome. Um, so we are using now the official Orange Pi image, not the Armbian image. Um, and so I'm just gonna copy this thing. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna copy its IP address. I'm going to open up PuTTY, which is another open source Windows client for establishing SSH connections. I'm going to paste in that IP address 
that we are copying from our routers page. We're gonna do S uh, port 22 because that's where we do SSH connections. Um, and then I'm gonna click on open and it's gonna tell us that you know this is a security issue. Uh, we're going to accept this and then we're going to log in as um, we need to know the default credentials for the Orange Pi's Ubuntu image that they've created for us. Um, so if we just type in Orange Pi zero or Orange Pi Ubuntu default credentials. I'm going to go with root and the password is orange pie. And this is stuff that you will change afterwards, but uh, we'll just jump into it. So one second. So I'm going to click login as root and password will be orange pie. And there we go. So we are now running the official Ubuntu image on our orange pie zero. Uh, so if you've made it this far, great work. And we can start doing some more fun things with this. I'm going to start by running um, apt get update and this is going to go through the process of making sure that we've got the most recent versions of packages on our uh, little orange pie zero here so we can start doing some damage so um, thank you all for watching i hope this is helpful stuff let me know if you have any questions and be well